Can I really have undo on a slider? Absolutely, this is not a clickbait, but why would you want that? We as humans tend to go overboard all the time and sometimes we really need to hold our horses. So this is how to do it. Now there are several ways to have undo on a slider. The first way is the fade command. Let's make a copy of the background layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J and let's say you wanted to remove the eye bags. Let us pick the patch tool from right here. Make a selection carefully, just like so. And let's finish it and move it to this place. Now it is completely gone and it's way too much. Looking unrealistic, we don't want to change who she is. We want to keep the originality. So here's what we do. We go to edit, fade, patch, selection. It's best you remember the shortcut, shift command F or simply click here. And then you can reduce the opacity of what you just did. So let's reduce it to something like 40%. That way it's also gone, but not completely. Control or Command D to deselect. And the flexibility of this one is, you can have different values for different areas. For example, this one, you want to remove a little more, so you can choose a higher value. So let's say we did this, and then we pressed the shortcut, Shift Command F. We don't always have to go the slow way by going to Edit, Fade, Patch, Selection, just press the shortcut. And for this one, let's say we go a bit higher, maybe 50%, and hit OK. Control or Command D. So that is how you can undo on a slider. Now this fade action works with most of the tools. Even if you were using the healing brush tool and you created a new layer, let's say we removed these wrinkles. Let's take a sample by holding the Alt key or the Option key, click to take a sample and let's remove this. Now you think it's too much? Control Shift F, Command Shift F and you have the fade dialog box and you can reduce the amount from right here. Let's go for 50% again, hit OK or hit Enter. Now it works on stroke by stroke basis. So let's say you did this area and then you did this area. If you press Control Shift F, Command Shift F, it will only be able to control your last stroke. So be careful of that. And whatever tool you last use, the fade command will change according to that. So right now we use the eraser. So if you go to edit, it shows fade eraser. When we use the patch tool, it showed fade patch selection. The second way to undo on a slider, and this is obvious, is opacity. Sometimes and most of the times we do too much. So we need to take a little break and get back to our image just to realize what the heck have we done. In this case, we may have gone way too much with the color grading and overlays. So we simply decrease the opacity to have undo on a slider. So if this is too much, we just hover over the opacity text, click and drag it to the left. Let's set it to about 50%. That looks nice. Now while we are at it, there's also a couple of shortcuts for it. Let's make sure you have the move tool selected, not any of the brush based tools. And then if you press any number keys, like one, it will set the opacity to 10. If you press five, 15, seven, 70, three, 30. If you wanna set it to a specific number, just type them fast, like three, three, 33, five, six, 56. You see that? Now there's one more shortcut. If you hold the Alt key or the Option key and hover over the opacity text and drag to the left or right, the numbers decrease or increase slowly. So you have more precision. If you don't hold the Alt key or the Option key, it is much faster. You see? 0, 100, 0, 100. But if you hold the Alt key or the Option key, this is 0 and this is 100. See how much I'm having to move the cursor? Now there's an opposite to this. If you hold the shift key, it will move faster. So let's hover over and drag. See, 0, 100, 0, 100. So depending upon what you want, you have a couple of shortcuts. So let's set this to 50 by pressing 5. And now let's also decrease the opacity of this one. It is adding way too much warmth to about, again, you can hold the Alt key or the Option key to move it precisely. Let's set it to about 80%. The next way we can have undo on a slider is smart filter opacity, very different from layer opacity we just covered, and that is this. Let's say you convert this layer into a smart object by right-clicking on it and choosing convert to smart object, just like so. And then let's go to filter, camera, raw, filter. Now inside of it, you made some changes. I'm just gonna apply a filter. So I'm gonna go with this one and hit OK. Wonderful change, but I think it's too much. So there's no way we can decrease the opacity right here. This completely makes the image transparent. This is not what we want. We just want to decrease the opacity of the smart filter. How do we do that? Well, we double click on this icon right here that gives you the blending options of smart filters. So you can even change the blend mode if you wish, but we're gonna keep it normal. Just decrease the opacity, maybe to about 80%, hit okay. 
much better. The next way to have undo on a slider, especially for a mask, is density. Now, what is that? Let's say you have your image. On top of that, you brought in a wonderful bokeh overlay. Let us change the blend mode to screen. Looks fantastic, but it's disturbing to the face a lot. So what if you could remove a little bit from it? For it, let's create a mask by clicking on the mask button. Take the brush, black as the foreground color, make sure it's a soft round brush, just dab. There you go. Looks fantastic, but it's too much. Is there a way to reduce the effect of the mask? Of course there is, and that is density. With the mask selected, open up the properties right here. If you cannot see the properties, go to window, and you want to make sure properties is checked. Right here, you will find density in the mask properties. So let's decrease the density. If the density is zero, it's like there was no mask. If the density is 100, the mask is in its full potential. So let's set it to about a lower number, maybe 41. That works for this image. Now, what about the situation when you have moved the pixels in Liquify? There's a solution for that too, because if you decrease the opacity, it won't work. So here is the before and here is the after. Just to open up the hair, we made the face slightly smaller and opened up the hair before, after. If you think you did too much, you cannot just decrease the opacity. It won't work because the pixels have been moved. You see that? So there's another option we need to use, that is reconstruct. When you do apply liquify, you do have the option for it. But if you want control later, I highly recommend that you convert the layer into a smart object before applying liquify, like we have done right here. So we can go back to it by double clicking on liquify. You can even make more changes if you want, like let's open this up even more, open the hair up even more. And if you scroll down, you will see this button called Reconstruct. And this is the undo on a slider magic. Let's click on it. Here you have the slider. If the amount is zero, it is like you did nothing. If you increase it, it will show your changes before, after, and it's so darn smooth. You wanna keep it a bit original depending upon the objective of your project. So let's not keep it 100. Let's decrease it to about 76. Hit OK. So we learned five ways to have undo on a slider. Let us do a recap. The first one, the fade command. We go to edit, fade batch selection, edit, fade eraser, edit, fade whatever tool you're using. The shortcut to which is control shift F, command shift F. The second one, obvious, layer opacity, where you control the opacity of a layer. The third one, smart filter opacity. You double click on the right icon. You have the blending options for the smart filter show up. You can control it from there. The fourth one is mask density. You open up the mask properties, you have density. It is just like the opacity for the mask. And the fifth one, reconstruct for liquify, where you have the slider, which takes you to the previous state completely or the current state of liquify. And you can control undo that way. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. I have two upcoming workshops, one in Colorado Springs in May and the other one in North Carolina in July. So if you are interested, I would love for you to make it. It's a complete Photoshop workshop for photographers. Thank you so much for watching again. See you in the next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. We're up here on cloud nine.